Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Plumbing Piping Work Examining Board. This is a special meeting. This agenda is for December 15, 2021 via the Zoom webinar at 9 a.m. Um, at this time, I would uh, have the uh, board members review the minutes of the last meeting and uh, see if everything is okay. Since we have a quorum, we can uh, vote on that. Uh, November 16, 2021. Make a motion. We accept the minutes as presented. I second that motion. Okay, thanks, Aaron. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion on the minutes of the last meeting? All in favor, say aye. 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 Denied. Abstain. So move. Thank you. Thank you, board members. Okay, uh, today, December 15, 2021, we're here on a special meeting. Thank you, everybody, for um, going out of their way to be here. This is an important day for the um, for this uh, board um, and Connecticut residents. Um, at this time, I'm going to let Cynthia take over um, and discuss um, our uh, our agenda this morning. Um, Cynthia, Attorney <laughs> Fernandez, thank you. Thank you. So, good morning, everyone. Um, thanks for coming on such short notice. Also, um, as you all know, the public comment period for the well drilling regs has closed as of uh, November 22nd. So during you all received the email, correct? Um, so you had a chance to review the public comments. And that's the reason why, we, why we're here. Um, so basically, um, since the public comments, there were three total. One just commended the department for getting the, the regs done. So we'll put that aside. And then the other two were from Eric, Aaron Nakbar, which we discussed at the last um, meeting very briefly. But the other was from the uh, Connecticut Water Well Association also. So the two comments uh, were very similar and they both um, called for an amendment or at least um, a revision to the exemption for construction standards under 25-128-63. So that um, since this was submitted after um, the, the regs had been put out for public comment, we never had a chance to really review it um, and to get the board's opinion on it. And you know, just to get the board's opinion on the record and to also give DPH and DEEP an opportunity to, to review it before the department were to make any revisions on the regs as they are right now. Um, that being said, the department doesn't really have um, any opposition to this amendment, as long as um, the board is amenable to it and DPH and DEEP also you know, have no objection. We've reached out to them also um, and given them a deadline of this Friday, I believe it is, um, to at least you know, by the end of this week, to let us know their opinion on um, this revision since you know, the it would, be, it would be putting a new responsibility onto the local directors of health that they didn't have a chance to comment on. So that's the purpose of giving them the chance to respond on that section um, specifically. So um, assuming everyone has read it, I won't read it into, oh, well, you know what? Just, just for the sake of the record, let me read it in and um, to make it clear what we're discussing. So I think the comment um, from Aaron Nakbar summarizes it well where it says local directors of health, well, this is his proposed um, revision. Local directors of health may use their discretion to issue replacement well permits in cases where meeting health code separation distances is not possible or would create undue hardship. And in the event the health director is unable to act upon the permit request, then it would continue into the regulation as it's, as it's um, you know, previously worded, as it's currently worded. Um, so it's an opportunity for the board to let us know your opinion on this. And, you know, if, if you'd like us to proceed in this with, with this wording. Board members, uh, Aaron, do you have any um, questions? I, I don't have any questions. Um, I think as long as it remains an addendum to the existing regulation that the, that the, uh, you know, Department of Consumer Protection it keeps its uh, ability to act and have a final say if, they're, if, the, if the health uh, directors are unable to follow through, which I think we've, we've done with this. 
Okay. Any other board members have any uh, concerns or any uh, discussion in reference to this? Or uh, we don't have to vote on this because obviously we've already discussed this, but is there anything else anybody would like to talk about? Or are we pretty well ready to go? I think we're all set. Okay. Okay. We already Steve. had it in the form of a motion. Is that correct? We have, I believe not. this board has approved in the past the the um, the uh, regulations going forward with the department, and we requested uh, um, this this language change. I believe um, in the past. I don't have the minutes in front of me for that, but um, I think it's been discussed. We, we definitely discussed it. Right, I think we discussed it towards the tail end of the last meeting, but I think a couple of the members hadn't received or hadn't seen it in their email, um, the full set of regs. So that, that's why you know I resent it. So to, just to make sure that everyone has everything in front of them so that before this goes through, there's no surprises, you know, the way that it turns out once it's all said and done. Yeah, on November 16th, under well drilling regulations number three, right. um, Aaron Nachmer submitted following amendment via public comment to the well regulations. He suggested an amendment, and in special circumstances or hardships, local directors of health may use their discretion to issue replacement well permits in cases where the meeting health code separate distances is not possible or would create an undue hardship. So it was, uh, it's in the minutes that we just accepted. And it was voted upon um, on page three. It, it goes further after discussion. The board voted unanimously to adopt this language. Thank you, Karen. I missed that. Yeah, thank you. It's on the next page, yeah. Yep. Pam, so Brown, guess... let's see. Pam Brown has joined us. Sorry to interrupt you. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman. Morning, Pam. Yeah. Yes, Mr. Alfieri. So today's the reason why we met today is just to double check and make sure we did everything proper or because we already made this motion and accepted mm -hmm. and I think the language is great what uh, Aaron has put put down and I still have no different difference in my decision so thank you thank you Mr. Alferi. Um yeah Cynthia just we want to get back to make sure that because I believe you know we wanted DPH on board we wanted we went back to deep as well um and uh and just it's just a follow-up meeting today. I didn't think it was going to last more than ten or fifteen minutes. So, um, with that said, I think we're all we're all set, Cynthia, with everything. Absolutely, that's great. We we yes. should make a statement for the minutes uh, that we are still in favor of the amendment to the twenty-five one twenty-eight. Okay. All right, everybody. Uh, is there anything else, um, Karen um, or Cynthia or Richard, that uh, we need to discuss today? No, no, I'm all set. If you guys are all set, that's great. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas to to everybody at, at, in uh, Cynthia, Karen, and Richard. Um, happy and, holidays. Uh, yep. Happy, happy holidays. holidays, everyone. Thank happy you. Thank you. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry, happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, Mr. Thank President. All right, I will um, let me know when you want to officially um, end the meeting. I'll stop the recording and then we can go from there. You can end the meeting now, uh, the minutes now. I mean, the, the, the uh, tape now, Karen. Thanks.